We will be making a domino run, just like this one. We will be using rigid body physics to run this simulation. Open Blender and delete everything. Next, add a plane and make it big by pressing S key while selecting the object. We will start by making a single domino by using a cube. Add a cube by clicking Add, Mesh, Cube. Scale the cube using S key and then pressing X, Y, or Z key to scale them in respective axis. Press numpad dot to focus on the selected object. Go to edit mode. Select all the vertices by pressing the A key and bevel the domino using control plus B keys. Use mouse scroll to adjust number of loops in the bevel. This will help us give a smoother shape to the domino. Then, in the object mode, press right mouse button and click shade smooth for a smoother look. We will be making our domino run using a helical curve and array modifier. We see that in the curve menu, we don't have many options. We can install an extension for adding extra curve options by going to Edit Preferences. In the Get Extension section, we can install extra curve by searching and clicking Install. Now, click Add, Mesh, Curve, Curve Profiles, and select Helix. We need a 2D spiral. Make the changes by expanding Curve Profile option in the bottom left. Change the height to zero. It becomes a 2D circle. We can expand it by changing the width. To make a spiral form, we can play the variables in the menu. To further enhance it, we can even change the end angle. Spread the dominoes along the curve. First add a curve modifier by going to Modifiers tab and select Add Modifier. Generate Array. Change the count to have multiple dominoes and change the distance between them. Add a curve modifier by clicking Add Modifier. Deform, Curve, select the curve that we just made so that the dominoes follow the spiral curve. The dominoes follow the curve, but they don't fill it. To fix this, in the Array Modifier, you need to change the fit type to fit curve and then select the curve you want. This still doesn't solve our problem. Scaling of dominoes is not accurate because scaling the object in object mode affects the scale. Press N key and check the scaling. It should be one for all axes. To fix this, press Ctrl A and apply scale. This fixes the problem and now we have multiple domino in the shape of a spiral. Add rigid bodies for domino simulation. Go to Physics tab. While the domino run is selected, click Rigid Body to add and change the mass. Just for fun, we are going to add another domino run that will run by its side. Just repeat all the steps you did before. Duplicate the curve and rotate it by 180 degrees on the z-axis. Similarly. Duplicate the dominoes and change the curve and modifiers to the duplicated one. The duplicated dominoes on the duplicated curve are on the opposite side. We need to fix the rotation. By selecting the curve, press Ctrl A and apply rotation. Some of the dominoes are too close to each other. Adjust the curve to maintain distance. You can select the curve from outliner on the right side. We have perfectly placed the domino run with each other. Apply materials from the materials tab. As you can, green and white combination is used for the domino run. Since we have successfully applied rigid bodies, we can try to run the simulation and see what happens. Simply press spacebar key to run the animation. We seem to get a weird animation because Blender is treating the domino run as a single object when there are multiple dominoes there. We need to separate each domino from the both runs. First, apply all the modifiers on both objects. Then, select the object and switch to edit mode by pressing tab key. Make sure to select everything by pressing the A key. Now press the P key and choose by loose parts. Now all the dominoes are single objects. Do the same with the other run. Right now, all the dominoes have a single origin point, which is not optimal for the animation. Select all the dominoes 
press right mouse button and click set origin, origin to geometry. This way, each domino will have its own origin point. As you can see from the orange points, that each domino has its own origin point. To initiate the rigid body animation, we're gonna manually tilt one of the domino so that domino run starts. This will be done on both domino runs. Zoom in on the domino you wanna tilt and press the R key from different angles and viewport to tilt the block. You can expand the plane so that rendered video can capture all of the floor. Make sure your timeline cursor is at frame zero. Press spacebar key to run the simulation. We see that dominoes have passed through the ground. This is because the ground is not a rigid body. Select the floor, go to physics tab, and a rigid body. Change the type to passive since it's going to be stationary and will be acting as a ground. Go to frame zero. Press the spacebar key again to run the simulation again. The simulation will run correctly if you have followed all the steps carefully. You see that the animation ends at frame 250 because that's the end limit for the timeline animation. You can extend it to your requirement. You see that timeline keeps going but the simulation ends at 250. This is because in the rigid body settings, the cache limit is 250. You can change it to your requirement. Go to Scene Settings, Rigid Body World Cache. The animation can now run beyond the 250 frame limit. Remember you need to change end frame limit in the timeline and rigid body cache for this to work. You don't necessarily need to go to an extreme for the end limit. As from this scene, we can see we only need the end limit of 450 frames, so adjust accordingly, otherwise the rigid body scenes can be heavy on your system. Next, we will render the scene. For that, we need a camera and a light. I will not go into details on how did I set up my lighting for this scene. It is just a simple three-point lighting system that illuminates the scene well, in my opinion. Before rendering, make sure that lighting is proper and the dominoes in your scenes are not exploding. If they are exploding or not behaving properly, you might have scaled them too small. Make sure they are big. Blender doesn't do well with small objects when it comes to rigid bodies. For rendering, Go to Output Properties in the right side. You can change the output form of your render. In my case, I am rendering an MKV file. You can also render an image sequence and then composite it into a video. Finally, click Render and then Render Animation to render your scene. Thanks for watching.